This is our crash course on disorders and treatments. Psychological disorders are patterns or thoughts, feelings, or behaviors that are deviant, distressful, and dysfunctional. There's a line between normality and disorders. We can define the line as someone being different or deviant from most of the other people in one's culture. How was your weekend? <laughs> Contrary from past beliefs, Philip Fennell said that madness is not demon possession, but rather a sickness of the mind caused by inhumane conditions and severe stresses. In the 1800s, syphilis caused the medical world to search for physical causes of mental disorders, also treatments. We use the medical model and the biopsychosocial approach to understand psychological disorders. The medical model disease, aka psychological disorders, have physical causes that can be diagnosed, treated, and cured through hospitality. Biopsychosocial approach is all behavior arises from the interaction of nature and nurture. There are three influences to psychological disorders. There's biological influences, evolution, individual genes, brain structure, and chemistry. Psychological influences, stress, trauma, learned helplessness, mood related perceptions and memories, social cultural in influences, roles, expectations, definitions of normality and disorder. Classification of a disorder has a purpose of describing a disorder and predicting its future course. The DSM-4TR is a helpful tool for predicting and classifying disorders. There's five levels or axes in the DSM-4TR. Access one is a clinical syndrome present. Access 2 is a personality disorder or mental retardation present. Access 3 is a general medication condition such as diabetes, hypertension, and arthritis also present. Access 4 are psychosocial or environmental problems such as school or housing issues also present. Access 5, what is the global assessment of this person's functioning? Anxiety disorders are psychological disorders characterized by distressing persistent anxiety or maladaptive behaviors that reduce anxiety. Generalized anxiety disorder in which a person is unexplainably and continually tense and uneasy. Panic disorder in which a person experiences sudden episodes of intense dread. Phobias in which a person feels irrationally and intensely afraid of a specific object or situation. Hey Raquel, hey, check out my new pet. <laughs> Obsessive compulsive disorder, also known as OCD, in which a person is troubled by repetitive thoughts or actions. Alright, well, I guess it's time to hit the hay. Good night, guys. Post-traumatic stress disorder, also known as PTSD, in which a person has lingering memories, nightmares, and other symptoms for weeks after a severely threatening, uncontrollable event. Say hello to my little friend. Okay. Okay. Hey, how was Afghanistan? You know, it was a lot, but it's really great to be back home. Yeah. Somatoform disorder is a psychological disorder in which the symptoms take a bodily form without apparent physical cause. A conversion disorder is a rare somatoform disorder in which a person experiences very specific, genuine physical symptoms for which no physiological basis can be found. Hey, let's go to the beach. Okay. What's wrong? My legs aren't moving. Why not? I don't know. They just won't move. I can't get up. Hypochondriasis, a somatoform disorder in which a person interprets normal physical sensations as symptoms of a disease. Oh, what's wrong? Like, do you need some aspirin or Advil? No. Can you drive me to the hospital? Why? I think I have a brain tumor. 
These are disorders of consciousness in which a person appears to experience a sudden loss of memory or change in identity, often in response to an overwhelmingly stressful situation. Dissociative identity disorder, aka DID, is a rare dissociative disorder in which a person exhibits two or more distinct and alternating personalities, also called multiple personality disorders. Each personality has its own voice and mannerisms. This disorder is viewed as manifestation of feelings of anxiety or as a response learned when behaviors are reinforced by reductions in feelings of anxiety. Today, I'm a 12-year-old ballerina. Tomorrow, I'm a 70-year-old man with scoliosis. My back. Today, I was an 8-year-old boy. Do you want to play with my toys? No, Hedwig. It's Friday, I'm a 40-year-old mom with twins. Honey, is dinner ready yet? Mood disorders. Mood disorders are characterized by emotional extremes and come in two principal forms. One, major depressive disorder, and two, bipolar disorder. Major depressive disorder. Major depressive disorder occurs when at least five signs of depression last two or more weeks and are not caused by drugs or medical condition. Three of these signs include lethargy, feelings of worthlessness, or loss of interest in family, friends, and activities. <laughs> Bipolar disorder is a mood disorder in which a person alternates between depression and mania. Kaylin, give me a hug! Oh my god! Oh my god! Get off of me! What are you doing? <laughs> Schizophrenia, aka split mind is a group of severe disorders characterized by disorganized and delusional thinking, disturbed perceptions, and inappropriate emotions and actions. Hey, how was your day? You too? I knew it was great. What'd you do today? You went to the pool? Why didn't you invite me? Caitlin, who are you talking to? A clown in the corner. Personality disorders. Personality disorders are enduring, maladaptive patterns of behavior that impair social functioning. Antisocial personality disorder. Antisocial personality disorder is a personality disorder in which the person, usually a male, exhibits a lack of conscience for wrongdoing even toward friends and family members. They may be aggressive and ruthless or clever con artists. For psychological disorders, in America, the three most common are phobias, alcohol dependency, and mood disorder. There are four types of psychological therapies. First, psychoanalysis. Second, humanistic therapies. Third, behavior therapies. And fourth, cognitive therapies. Psychoanalysis involves repressed impulses and conflicts, resistance, and transference. Humanistic therapies include client-centered therapy, which focuses on the person's conscious self-perceptions also known as non-directive therapy. therapies apply learning principles to the elimination of unwanted behaviors. This includes counter-conditioning, exposure therapy, aversive conditioning, systematic desensitization, virtual reality exposure therapy, behavior modification, and token economy. Cognitive therapy teaches people new, more adaptive ways of thinking and acting. Aaron Beck analyzed the dreams of depressed people. He found reoccurring negative themes of loss, rejection, and abandonment that extend to people's waking thoughts. Cognitive behavioral therapy aims to alter the way people think and act. Family therapy views an individual's unwanted behaviors as influenced by or directed at other family members. Last, there are biomedical therapies. This includes drug therapies, brain simulation, and psychosurgery. Drug therapies include the use of antipsychotic drugs, anti-anxiety drugs, and antidepressants. Psychosurgery removes or destroys brain tissue in an effort to change behavior. A lobotomy was used to calm uncontrollably emotional or violent patients by cutting the nerves connecting the frontal lobes to the emotion controlling centers in the brain but is no longer used anymore. Resilis okay. Resilience is the personal strength that helps most people cope with stress and recover from adversity and even trauma.